How's it going everybody? It's Matt 10. I've got a game changer here for you today. If you guys have been just like me where you were trying to figure out what is going on with the attack and defense levels, well guess what? I've found the way to make it where it's just going to be at one level the whole time. Check this out. So jumping into a match here, this is on the PS4 since I wanted to make sure it worked on the PS4 as well because I tested it on the PC and it worked great. So here on the PS4, if we've got it right here, we're going to be modifying Lazio's tactics um, in the edit option. So right now you can see defensively they're green. Okay, and then if I lose the ball here, give that to them here, you'll see they switch automatically over to orange. See how high that is? So they go from green to orange, which is fine. They want to go into attack. I get it. The problem is they get into this mode where as soon as they lose the ball, it's instant retreat, right? Let me see if I can take the ball away, if that's possible. I haven't played the PS4 version in a long, long time. There we go. So now they're going to start retreating. And they keep their shape pretty well. But there's other teams, of course, that get really bad. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because... For those of you guys that are looking at tactics and, and looking at, um, you know, improving the game that way, you know, all my videos that I've been recent, releasing for PES have all been in that regard about trying to improve through the tactics, the preset tactics, etc. Well, now I'm going to keep it really simple. No pun intended. Check this out. And now here you've got the preset tactics, right? You can modify this now if you want, but actually... This is the number one thing right here. You have to go here, support settings. After the support settings, you want to make changes here if you, you know, it's up to you. The computer will do these on their own, but it's, you know, it doesn't hurt to have them on there. Keep it to auto select lineup. Make sure you do that by ability. And I'll show you why. Now, here's the kicker. You go to simple settings, click on that. And now you actually choose the simple tactical settings. By default, it obviously is going to pull up the default of what how the game uh, had how it came out uh, to have Lazio, right? Well, here's the kicker as well. Go all the way down to the bottom. Defensive, if you want to do down, middle, defensive, you're going to get the attack and defense level of blue, blue. For down, middle, offensive, you're going to get the attack defense level of green, green. Out wide, you're going to get blue, blue again. Out wide for offensive, you're going to get green, green again. All out attack, you're going, you're going to get orange for attack and orange for defense. All out defense, you're going to also going to get orange for attack and orange for defense. Now, possession game is different. Possession game will start with the green for attack and then it'll either transition. This is the one I'm still trying to figure out where it'll transition to either green or you know stay in green or it's going to transition to orange. Okay? It doesn't go below green in that regard. So it doesn't go down to blue. Quick counter uses green, orange. So a green for attack and orange for defense. So this is like exactly how it sounds. It's a counterattack, right? This is the caught in two minds scenario where they're going to be attacking at a decent level green. And then as soon as they want to start defending, they'll defend at a higher level at orange, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I prefer them defend at a higher level versus a lower one. Um, but this is, you know, personal preference. Now, long ball does the same thing. Green for attack and then orange for defense. Okay, default keeps it the way it is. You'll see it, it'll vary. Um, some teams will be you know, hard coded with the default of how, however they are set up, however they were built from the Konami programming, etc. Okay, and here's proof um, for what I'm talking about. So let's start with Lazio down the middle defensive. We know this will be blue, blue. Now you're wondering, okay, well, that sucks because I don't want to change their formation. That part does suck. If you have preset formations, you're going to have to adjust this, okay? The nice thing is you can still make the same. You can hold down here, Parolo to go out here, uh, Biglia here, 
you know, spread these guys out a little bit, have Felipe as well. I know this isn't their formation at all, but at least you can see what this will look like, right? And you can spread it out that way, okay? Spread it out that way and call it good, right? We haven't even done fluid formations yet, okay? But all you wanna do is make sure when you leave, so when you hit that back button, that it says this right here, okay? That says simple tactics, back go to normal. Don't click on go to normal. You wanna keep it on simple tactics, okay? So just press back, press back again, go all the way, and let's go test it in a match. All right, look there at the bottom, guys. See how they're now at a blue level for their attack. And it's currently their defense is at blue. So let's say I give the ball away. See what they do. See, they remain at blue. And this may adjust as the match goes on. So if they're losing or anything like that, even if they're losing, I've actually noticed that if that attack and defense level stays the same, they still operate pretty much um, you know, as they would in the match scenario. They don't make any real, um, you know, it doesn't look like they're getting more aggressive or anything like that. It really does look like they're just playing football. Um, but for the scenario's sake, you can tell there is a change, even if the attack defensive level indicator doesn't say so. It's very interesting. I prefer um, the blue is nice. I actually like it on orange, orange. Um, you'd be surprised of how much slower the computer plays. Now look here, they're playing a blue, how much more deliberate they're playing as well. The thing is with blue is they like to retreat, right? See how they're all retreating back there? That's necessar not necessarily a bad thing. They're trying to get into back into formation. Like I said, when you input the fluid formations, that'll actually work even better because then you could, you know, adjust of how they should look in a fluid formation. Um, you know, in their defensive formation, they're, you know, for out of possession, right? So, but I do like um, right away that this works in the PS4 as it did in the PC that I was testing, right? So let's jump back into the edit and we're going to put them down, uh, put them up the other level. So I'm going to go through all those levels so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, real quick, if you guys get back to this screen, it means it's in the normal mode. Don't worry about that actually check this out you can click on this so what I clicked on was just the preset tactics right and then I can turn the fluid formations on so now if I if I move it around see how it keeps it it actually will use that default tactic in the simple setup right so you would have to go in and change this okay so with fluid formations you want to make sure this is on before you go into those simple tactics okay so let me show you how that looks like. So here, I go to simple settings, click on simple tactical settings, see how it changes it all back. It, these are all basic templates, right? So if I go back to that down middle defensive one, see how I, if I move it around for when sorry, I kick off, when in possession, when out of possession. So if I click that defensive one again, now I just need to go in here right move people around you know, I'm gonna move Perola over here that's out of possession moving in possession see it's just the exact same way nothing has really changed in that regard but what's most important you have to know what attack defense level you want to use for the team that you're editing okay so next I'm gonna move them over there just just as an example to show you see so he moves all the way across through all of the the setups and then as soon as you click on that simple tactical settings, everything will go away unless you quickly press out of it, right? If you go and choose one of these, it's gonna pick it. But if you just press out of it, just back, and then it'll it'll disregard what you, what you worked on, what you modified, okay? So in this case, let's go all the way down. We just did the down the middle for defensive. Um, that will pull up blue, blue. Down the middle for offensive will pull up green, green. Okay, so we're gonna click on that one. And then here, see the formation that it defaults to, 3-2-3-2, 3-2-3-2, 3-3-2-2. And that's just how it's built. What you have to do on your end is just a little bit more manual work. So what I would suggest, if you guys are making tactical changes, make sure you keep it, you know, remember which ones you had set up before, right? Um, I think down the middle offensive will work fine, green, green, out wide offensive will work fine. That's a green, green as well. Um, me personally, I like the idea of orange, orange, 
just makes it more exciting. Um, you'd be surprised of how much more patient the computer plays um, at Orange Orange. So um, let me just move this around. So see, we're at kickoff. Okay, now I've got to move more guys around and see just how you guys know. For those of you that are familiar, you can just move guys down, right? And then you can change whoever. If Perolo is not going to play because you want four backs, then you got to put in four backs, right? But just to show you guys for that sake, let me jump all the way back in. We're going to jump into another match so I can show you that it will show green, green. All right, let's take a look at it here. Look at that. They're in green for defense. And then I'm going to give the ball to them. See how they go in attack. See that? They're in green for the attack. So if you wanted to build a tactic for a team and have them be more of a level-headed team, my preference of being level-headed in this regard be green green meaning there would be no you know stuck in two minds mentality which is a great idea um that's the consistency right there green is a perfect balance i like i said i personally like orange and i'll show you here in the next clip of what that'll look like see green's a good balance uh, they you know depending on their formations etc and that's the beauty of it now tact people that make tactics etc now they can you know get those formations in and everything from there so as you can see it's it's nice it's definitely playable i personally think down the slide sides it's always going to be that way to you know and pass 17 especially just to be easy all right we are back at the edit screen here so we're just going to jump in and go to the support settings again right so these are going to go away because we're going to be changing the simple settings remember if you're going, you have to figure out what type of team you want to use first. The nice thing is, even if you adjust this, so let's say, um, let's say we're going to switch to blue, blue, for example, just as earlier, right? Down middle defensive, right? Now that's automatically going to choose, as you can see over there, counterattack uh, is the attacking style, short pass is the build up, centering is in the attacking zone uh, maintain formation is the positioning all out defense defensive styles if you look at all of these they all have their own setups right and let's say you don't want some of these so let's say you don't want all out defense because that's the probably the worst one ever to pick but let's say that's what this template makes me choose right let's say i know for sure i want to use blue blue okay so here i've gone i'm going to pick blue blue click on that okay and then let's say I've made some adjustments or I'll just leave it as it, how it is, right? It looks good to me. Excellent. I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to go to the normal plan, change this information. See that all out defense? I'm going to just change that to frontline pressure. Okay. Right. And here, go to simple settings and see, make sure it says this screen before you leave. Okay, that's the main, main importance. So you can still go to normal plan, make any modifications that you want, anything here, doesn't matter. Make your defensive adjustments here, doesn't matter. As long as you click on support settings, simple settings, and end it from there, okay? Just get out of that, okay. So that's that example to use fluid formations and then also to adjust those preset tactics after you've set up a formation. Now we're gonna go into the support settings. We're actually gonna to go to what I said, we're gonna check out the orange, orange. So in that case, we're gonna be using the all out attack. You can also use the all out defense. Um, and then the other one, uh, that would be it. So all out attack, all out defense, orange, orange. And of course, guys, I will include this all in the link um, in a, you know, just a recap of what I talked about. So let's use the all out attack, okay? And let's say I don't wanna play yeah, I don't want to play, you know, three center backs, right? I want to play, um, let's see, I'm going to take out, I'm going to take out Cataldi, and I'm going to put in Radu, and Radu's going to go and play left back, okay? And I'm terrible at moving these guys around, so don't, just don't pay any mind to that, of course. And let's see, I, I don't want to play this. Now, what sucks about this is I did this in the kickoff, so I know I'm going to have to change this. This is also going to be have to be adjusted, okay? But here's the cool thing. Let's say, okay, I feel good about that. Looks great to me. Let's say I want to use that now. And here's the other thing, guys. You know I love my five-second fix, right? So let's say I like kickoff. Um, that's actually going to be the in, in possession. Guess what I'm going to do? 
Act kickoff is going to be fine. In possession, no worries. I'm just going to find the act kickoff. There it is right there. Out of possession, a little crazy. Let's just go ahead and use the in possession, right? So now I've got everything the same, right? Very nice. Am I all at the fence? I just need to go in. If I don't like that one, that's fine. Let's change it at the front line pressure, okay? Now I know for sure I'm using the the orange orange, right? So I just got to make sure to finalize it here. Go to simple settings, finish it right here. It's done. All right, let's get started here. Look at that, all the way up. They're an orange for defense, right? And as always, I'm gonna give them the ball back. Leave that one alone. Oh, they couldn't hold on to it, but you'll see they'll stay at orange right now. Let me hand that over to them. There we go. See how they stay at orange? And I like orange myself just because you'll see just a little bit more patience. See, look at this. Look how they're just trying to build up. I'm kind of clogging the midfield there. They're going to try to you know, find some penetrating balls if they can. But I also like how much pressure they put on me. Not saying it's absolutely perfect, but it's it's not bad. Like it, it makes me, you know, they still get numbers behind the ball. Um, I have to move the ball around. See, I'm also being pressured. I like, I love being pressured. I haven't been feeling any resistance in a very long time with pests. And so seeing this has been absolutely perfect for me. Sometimes, you know, I feel like we get a little bit tighter, but it's nice. You can, you can definitely see how they're going to, uh, you know, how they're going to attack. Like I said, you can change all that. You can change all that information, the way the pass in terms of, you know, possession, long ball tactics, short pass, etc. It's completely up to you. But look at how they're staying at orange, orange right now. It is a thing of beauty. You no know, caught in two mines, pressuring up front because I disabled that all out defense. But man, guys, this is a lot better. Is it 100%? Oh, absolutely not. There may be some you know player edits that need to be done, um, but that's for another video. Yeah, I mean, you know, you guys have seen that I've been working on um, some player ratings like body control, for example. But look at this orange, orange. Look at how they're attacking. So look how much more patient they are. I used to think green, green would be the answer, but orange, orange just really seems to be it. And yeah, look at this run. That's crazy. And now enough players, if I try to send it up, I know there's somebody going to be right on me. I still got time to turn. Nope, not as much as I thought. Here, I'd probably implement the tactic, uh, you know, the tight marking advanced instruction. But in terms of chances that have happened, I made a post on Evo Web and how quickly chances can occur. And here, like you can see, it's just so much more control. Eh, that's just a terrible pass. Um, but yeah, this is huge, guys. So the last thing I'm going to show you is what it looks like when we go from green to orange. So we're back at our edit screen once more, going to the support settings here. And some simple settings, right? Now, here is the button. If you click on this and you choose one of these, right, by hitting the confirm button, again, remember, it's going to keep that. So if you if you realize, oh, man, I didn't want to do that, hit back, and there you go. It maintains what we changed earlier, okay? But in this case, we are going to be changing. So we want to go to green um, and then orange. So in that one, you would use quick counter, okay? And quick, quick, it's a tough one to say, quick counter, okay? And then let's say that's what we want to use, okay? Now we're just going to go ahead and change that lineup again, Radu. That's fine. We'll have it like that. Have it set up like this. I don't know, just moving things around, right? Well, that's fine. We can do a 4 one, two, three, right? Okay. And then for kickoff, okay, so we know how to go into there. So then we just go to normal game plan, go over here, formation change. At kickoff, actually keep at kickoff and change it in possession to the at kickoff. And the out of possession, I think for the out of possession, yeah, we'll just use the same thing. So out of possession, we'll go to in possession. So everything basically stays this simple, right? Like I said, you can make it so, you know, like in the out of possession, if you wanted to, don't change it here, change it here in the simple settings. Okay, go to the out of possession. Let's say you wanted to move everybody just, you know, lower just because, oh, let's not put in a goalkeeper, um, you know, just a little bit lower. Everybody just drop down a little bit more, a little bit more. That's fine. And then maybe we, uh, we tuck these guys in just a little bit more. Uh, that's another thing as well. Make sure this says 
RB. Yep, looks like we're good there. Okay, let's say that's that'll work, all right? So there we go. Now we're all done, right? We hit simple tactical settings. If we click on that, remember, oops, I did that. Just press escape or the back button, right? There you go. All good again. Go to normal game plan if you need to make any other changes. If not, support settings, simple settings, then get out. All right, so let's see what it looks like here. See, they are in green right now. Now I'm just going to send this ball up to them, give it to them as well. See how they change right away to orange? And there you go. They've got it now. So their attack. See, they're going to step up on me on green. That's fine. It's not bad, actually. Like I said, I personally like the idea of orange orange just because I know I'm gonna maintain that pressure. I'm not gonna catch them in two mines where they're going to be, you know, shifting, um, you know, any quicker or anything like that. And you know, I'm not gonna catch them in that transition or lack of transition really, because they're basically caught in two mines the whole time. As soon as that ball, there's that instant retreat and instant attack. Not as bad um, as it can be, as I've seen, but it can definitely get bad in some cases. But this isn't bad. Like, you can play with play this way as well. No problem. Um, it may be a little more end-to-end. -end. I personally don't like as end-to-end. -end. I think, you know, too many matches in past 17 are all end-to-end. -end. And I think, you know, no matter what, that's kind of in the DNA. Uh, I know it's a tough balance for d developers to not make it too sim. To make it, you know, too arcadey as well. So, if they can find a happy medium, that'd be nice. Um, I think they're getting there. This is a huge find for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking you guys, I don't know what you guys think about it. Um, but I feel like it's made the game significantly, significantly better for me. Now that I know kind of under the hood type of things, um, you know, and what it feels like, um, you know, to know that all is not lost. We can still do some things. Yes, it's going to take some restarting of Master Leagues because you're going to have to go into the tactics and it's going to take yes those who are tactical editors um to go and and set it up this way but i guarantee you to have that control and to know what those attack defense levels are going to be is is a much more better feeling knowing that you're not going to be binded into um you know into a setting that that you don't want or an uncontrollable fundamental of the game right see the ball get the ball now you, you the fact that players won't be in two minds at all times is such a huge deal um and it was one of the biggest things i had made a mention of when the pest 17 demo came out i said these players they're sprinting back and forth you know like they lost something because that was the case they were just running and they're still running all over the, the place at times um you know not sure of what to do like very very confused on what to do with the ball, a loose ball situation. But now you can see there's a little bit more attitude, a little bit more, um, you know, intent to go get the ball. Um, you know, like I said, orange, orange, as you guys saw, I think would be the best setup. If so, if you set up your teams with orange, orange, do that all out attack or all out defense, that should be fine. That'll, that'll probably get probably the best experience in my opinion. Um, but again, this is my first night with it. I've spent the last five hours tonight working on this testing everything testing various teams as well and i just wanted to make sure that it worked in the ps4 so um and then just make sure it works with other teams so i'm going to do one more little part here and go into another team um and then you know change them to blue blue what other other values and just see if it if it does the same way i'm confident it does i've tested it with several um 15 to 20 teams now and so i'll jump into the just again just to show you guys um so let me go do that wolfberg i've got them using a blue blue so i wanted to see that right away and you can tell right there blue without the ball now i'm going to send it up to them in possession see how they maintain their blue guys it works it works, it works, it works. I know it sucks that for those of you who started your Master League already, I apologize, I really do. But honestly, if you guys are up for trying this, please do. It's it's just really a solid way to play the game now and have the tactics actually 
matter without worrying about the computer being caught in two minds. Determine on your own what your preference would be for the team you're modifying of what type of team you know they are in real life, but also don't underestimate how powerful PES is with that values, and especially in the formations and tactics. It makes a big, big difference. You know, while they may be a very aggressive team in real life, in PES terms, that may mean they have to be, may have to be a blue blue for all we know, right? So just pay attention to that, guys. As always, I wanted to thank you for watching this video. To me, this is a game changer because this opens up doors for those who can, are going to be editing who know what um, attack defensive levels they want their their uh, the uh, the computer to be in um, for that corresponding team. It's going to make for just a nice little you know variety um, and not make it frustrating and easy to just build right through a team and with mindless passing. Um, you know, let it come back to where it's difficult and there's an actual midfield um, and then. You know, let the beauty of PES show through through the ball physics. It needs to work a little bit more on on tactics uh, and tactical adherence. You guys know me; I'm a you know, it's a beat beat that horse quite a lot about my thoughts on tactical adherence, where it's at like a hundred percent. They need to bring back chemistry uh, for player ratings, which determine if you know if that player is going to be listening to the coach and their teammates. Right. There needs to be something there. There needs to be some human humanization um, on the players. But, you know, this looks good to me. Uh, tell me what you guys think in, in the in the comments below. As always, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, always make sure to take care and stay tuned. Um, I really want to enjoy the game, too. You can see um, in this match and, and going forward, I've turned off the radar. I can't, I can't look at the radar in this game, even though it may hinder me in terms of my camera angle. Um, I don't care.